ex-Premier League club of Bradford City, currently in League 2, have been making some headlines recently. And that is due to a potential takeover from an American cryptocurrency-backed organization. The investor group WAGMI United is aiming to raise capital and funds through the sale of NFTs or non-fungible tokens. And it intends to rely on data and analytics to make key decisions about running the club. Its goal, it says, is to use the model to take a club to the Premier League. The group whose backers reportedly include the president of NBA franchise Philadelphia 76ers, Daryl Morley, publicly stated its intention to buy an EFL club and without naming Bradford, who are currently owned by German businessman Stefan Rupp. What was worrying for Bradford City fans is that WAGMI has conceded it has little knowledge of the intricacies of English football, the volatile nature of cryptocurrency which can fluctuate in price dramatically and quickly has caused some concern amongst the Bradford City fan base about the plans, which would be the first of its kind in sport. Rupp has resisted this offer, though, saying his most important responsibility is to protect and safeguard the long-term future of Bradford. In a statement, he said on Thursday, I received an offer from WAGMI United Group to purchase the football club. This has been rejected. A great deal has been aired publicly since the offer was made. This, as well as a number of factors which remain private, has led me to this decision. As a proud custodian of this wonderful football club, my first and most important responsibility is to protect and safeguard its long-term future whilst upholding our values. I, and certainly no one else connected to this football club, is actively trying to promote its sale and my commitment has not changed. The matter is closed and our attention turns to what's truly important as we build towards a strong second half of the season and aim to achieve our goals. In a corresponding statement, WAGMI United put out this statement. It is with great disappointment that we announce that Bradford City AFC Chairman Stefan Rupp has chosen to rescind our purchase agreement and maintain control of the club. As current club owner, that is his right, but we are undoubtedly bitterly disappointed in his decision, whilst we unfortunately will not get to partner with Bradford City supporters in returning their club to its rightful glory at this time, we also think they deserve to know the truth. So here it is. WAGMI United has been engaged in productive and confidential negotiations with Mr. Rupp to purchase Bradford City since early November. On Thursday morning, prior to the news breaking about the group's interest in an EFL club, he agreed to a deal in principle. This agreement was non-binding and pending additional due diligence on both sides before finalisation but there was an agreement. He's obviously now had a change of heart, but to suggest that he'd never heard of WAGMI United before Thursday or that no further action was taken following our offer is simply untrue, and we believe that the club supporters deserve more transparency than that. Following this, the club released another statement from Bantam's chairman, Stefan Rupp. Over the weekend, it was brought to my attention that WAGMI United LLC issued a statement regarding Bradford City AFC via the medium of social media. It is with anger and regret I am further compelled to speak on a firmly closed matter, yet I feel I must to correct the glaring inaccuracies it contained. The statement published carried a number of assertions which could generously be described as being wide of the mark. It includes claims which sought to undermine my truthful message to our supporters, employees and partners when rejecting their bid on December 17th. It is right and correct that it will be known that I have acted properly throughout my short dealings with WAGM United LLC and rejected their proposed deal to protect the proud history of Bradford City AFC. Sadly, the actions of WAGMI United LLC have determinately brought both my integrity and the club's reputation into question. It is for this reason I've instructed my lawyers to explore all legal redress forthwith.
Now, whilst information on WAGMI United LLC is rather limited, what we could find out is that it is a Delaware-based organization and it was only filed with the Securities and Exchange Commission's kind of like the UK's company's house on the 17th of December 2021 when the news broke that they had made the offer for Bradford City. Beyond the controversies of WAGMI United and Bradford City's interactions, it does raise an interesting point and a question that I will leave you to answer is cryptocurrency the future of football club ownership? If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button as well. More videos like this, plus our live streams on twitch.tv forward slash the football fan show Saturday nights from 7pm. We will see you there.